You ever heard the term burnout? I don't mean like your old high school friends that are now burnouts or whatever. I mean like you work so much, you do so much, and then you just, you get burnt out. I've been there a million times during my career. But lately I've been facing something else. It's not quite burnout, it's... I don't know. A fear of failure. I feel like I'm working my ass off all the time and not getting anywhere. It's I've had a difficult time the last three years since buying this truck. I've had a few ups, a few downs. The past few months has been, seems like nothing but downs. So down that I've been scared to get in the truck and go anywhere. I'm afraid it's gonna break down on me and I'm gonna I'm gonna have to spend another thirty thousand dollars go to the bank again and please let me borrow some money my truck broke down that poor trailer I've hit that thing several times that tail end gets anyway uh, I decided to get out of my funk and get the truck in and quit being such a bitch I'm heading to Washington. I've got a multi-drop load here that I picked up in Olive Branch, Mississippi. I just picked up that little uh, telehandler. It's going to Salt Lake City. Right here I was in Denver where I just made a couple drops. And look here, we're cruising westbound on Interstate 80 in Wyoming. Some of you guys might recognize that little spot there. Went through two winter storms to go make my drops over here in Salt Lake the next morning to get rid of this telehandler. And uh, one little skid I had of uh, the product of our customer there. And then I'm heading up to Washington. Two drops up in Washington with a 34 hour reset. See you in a bit. Stick around. Need to change the bumper on it yet. Put a new grill on it already. Needs washed. Write it down. Same situation. Work it out. Sleep in the basement. One step, one step backward. One step, no regret. Onward. What a crowd. I need a facelift. Happy. After catching a 34-hour reset over there in Prosser, Washington, I went on up to Arlington and um, Fife, Washington, and I made my drops. Then I spent the day in Arlington after my last drop there, and the next morning I started heading this way. 
Southbound. Yeah, I left some things out. We're over here in Shelton, Washington, picking up a little partial this lumber here. Yeah, tarping in the rain with a product that's left out in the rain. <laughs> yeah man I love tarping stuff in the rain stuff that's sitting out in the rain and put on my trailer and then tarping it to keep it dry <laughs> no usually it's to keep the road grime off the uh off the product whatever it is because you know coming out here we came through some pretty bad storms and you got the salt the the they put all kinds of different shit sand and some other shit and it'll fuck their product up and this stuff is covered it's wrapped up but that stuff ends up blowing off so part of me wants to bitch and complain that like i mean that's what we do we're truck drivers i mean if you ain't figured that out yet just talk to a truck driver for a minute <laughs> but then the other part of me is like dude they just want to keep the road grime off their their lumber so when someone comes to buy it you know it's all fucked up so anyway I am going to sit here for a minute and I'm going to look for another partial I got 10 feet open on the top deck and like what 10 to 12 thousand pounds and then 21 feet on the back maybe about 22 feet on the back and uh, let's see, that's 13. I'll look for something between 20, 30,000 back there, closer to 20. And hopefully get this wound up. We're heading to Lubbock and Denton with this. And I'm going to the house. So if I can find something that'll fit on here along the way and then maybe take me on to the house, that'd be great. <laughs> 